Now, in the landscape, which is the only place you're going to see them, but it's not native. Okay. It's true most of them are blue, at least bluish. I will say you will see darn few this blue. These are all a certain variety, and that's what they plant in the landscape. They, 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 you know, they get a blue one, and then they clone it. Notice how these are all the exact size, and shape and all. The same, they're, they're, they're all identical twins to each other, literally. No genetic diversity between these. And, they're, and they, they're very, very blue. They're native out in the Rocky Mountains at high elevation, and most of those, the majority of them, will be kind of army green in color. So watch the color. So, first you got to know it's a spruce. I'm not going to go back over that, right? You know how to do that. Now what you want to do, this is Picea pungens. Pungens means sharp. So grab hold of that thing. That's This is what you want to use. So you come up, okay, all right, it's a spruce, and then grab hold of those needles and you see why, right? It is very sharp. Yeah, they're, they're like a cactus needle almost, a cactus spine, aren't they? Very, very sharp. And if it happens to be blue, sure, that's bonus. But it might be that green color that's back in there. All the blue is, if you take a needle and rub it, what happens? It all comes off. It all comes off. It's wax that reflect, refracts the light, making it look blue. And then if you look at the old needles on the branches as you go back, what do you notice? They're green. Yeah, that for, like here. Green, Look, here's here's this year. Last year, still a little blue. But you can keep going. Here's uh, three years ago. They're green. Here's four years ago. Once that wax is gone, that's it. And so it, even though wax is water, well, you have to re-wax your car, right? It comes off. It erodes off. It gets pounded by rain. And same with these. So this is about the bluest <laughs> you'll ever see them. When we come out here again in March, they won't be quite this blue. Okay, they'll already be they using them. Hmm? They feel like a fake on this. They do. That's why I'm saying use that sharpness, that, that really stout crunchiness. This is not the one to wreck your bike into. Okay? <laughs> this, this is going to be not so soft. They're about three inches. And if you had one in your hand, it's very papery. The scales look very worn down. Very papery like scales. You, you'd think it was, if it was on the ground, you'd think this was an old cone that was kind of rotting all day. But, but not. They're like that up there. And then the edges of the scales aren't rounded, they're tattered. That's called eros, eroded. Picture a flag that's been wind battered, the edges get all frayed. The edges of the scales get all frayed like that. And so it looks like an old cone, even when it's a brand new cone. Only you're only going to see them in the landscape. They are a favorite, uh, you know, ornamental as you can see. Why? Uh, some of them are starting to get a little uh, a needle blight. These look like they're pretty resistant to it. So you, sometimes you'll see a blue spruce that's starting to look naked from the bottom up, and it's uh, a fungal disease. But these, this variety, I don't see any sign of it.